Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Coinaz. These 1928s Lincolns had made tens of thousands of dollars at Great Collections Auction, graded in Mean State 66 red and provided with CAC sticker on the slab. The CEC label refers to Certified Acceptance Corporation, a third-party coin grading and authentication service. CEC reviews coins graded by other reputable grading companies and affixes their distinctive green sticker to the coins they deem to be of exceptional quality for their assigned grade. CEC approved coins often command higher prices and are sought after by collectors for their added reassurance of quality. The 1928S Lincoln Cent is known for its relatively low mintage with only little more than 4.8 million coins produced at the San Francisco Mint that year. These low mintage combined with coins in circulated condition and the presence of original red mint luster makes the 1928S Lincoln Cent MS66 Red a desirable and valuable coin among collectors. This penny ended up selling for $74,812 and 50 cents with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to do so for getting rare coin videos on a daily basis. Here is 1982D small date cents struck on a bronze planchet, graded as AU58 brown by NGC. This is a highly significant coin that will appeal to advanced Lincoln cent collectors and mint error enthusiasts alike. It dates to 1982, an important transitional year in a modern Lincoln Cent series. During that year, the U.S. Mint transitioned from using bronze to a copper-plated zinc composition for the Lincoln Cent. However, a small number of 1982D Lincoln Cents were struck on a bronze planchette intended for previous year's coinage. The error occurred when some bronze planchettes were inadvertently fed into the coin preserves at the Denver Mint, resulting in a small number of 1982D Lincoln cents being struck on a wrong composition. It was sold for $18,800 at Stax Bowers Auction. Here is 1953 Washington Quarter with attractively toned surfaces, graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. The 1953S Washington Quarter presents a significant challenge for the registry collector as top grade examples are major rarities. Vivid multicolor toning encompasses frosty pristine surfaces and sharp design elements. I appeal is outstanding. It was sold for $5,040 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1965 SMS Kennedy of Dollar in MS68 condition. The SMS stands for Special Mint Set and it refers to a special type of a coin set produced by United States Mint. The coin in these sets were struck with higher level of detail and quality compared to the standard circulation strikes. If you believe you have 1965 Kennedy of Dollar SMS, it is advisable to have it authenticated and graded by a reputable third-party grading service to confirm its authenticity and determine its condition. This gem was bargained for $19,800 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Moving on with this 1950 Roswatam in PR69 Ultra Cameo condition, no finer 1950 dime proofs are certified than this blazing white, high contrast example. Richly frosted motifs sit on brilliant, flawlessly mirrored silver fields. It was sold for $16,800 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1932D Washington Quarter in MS65 condition. This is a fully original, attractively toned gem with mottled reddish russet patina around the borders. The centers are more lightly patinated and in sandy gold. The leftovers field also revealing swirls of apricot, pink and sea green iridescence. Satiny is the texture with a sharply executed strike. The surfaces are remarkably smooth for an issue that is seldom offered any finer than MS64. It was sold for $11,162.50 at Stax Bowers Auction. Moving on with this error, 1946 Jefferson Nickel struck on a war nickel planchet. From late 1942 through 1945, 
nickels were struck on silver alloy planches to conserve copper and nickel for the war effort, including use in manufacturing ammunition casings and gun barrel linings. This 1946 nickel was struck on a leftover war nickel planchette and displays a distinct antique silver patina when compared to copper nickel coins of the same date. It ended up selling for $9,600 at heritage auctions. This is 1969 D. Kennedy of Dollar in Main State 67 Plus with star designation given by NGC. 50 cent piece with very attractive iridescent toning on both sides. Coins graded as MS67 and higher are already scarce and the plus designation indicates that the coin exhibits exceptional qualities within the grade. The higher the grade, the rarer the coin becomes as fewer examples are able to achieve such high levels of preservation and high appeal. Consequently, the rarity of 1969D Kennedy of dollar in MS67 plus condition contributes to its desirability among collectors, potentially commanding a higher value in the market. This half dollar ended up selling for $7,667.61 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. This is 1941 Lincoln Cent with double verse graded in Main State 66 plus read by PCGS. FS-102 is one of three cherry pickers double die for the 1941 Lincoln Sand, and it shows the doubling most prominently on the motto in God would trust, and to a lesser extent on Liberty. It was sold for $5,040 at heritage auctions. This is 1953 S. Jefferson Nickel and Mean State 66 with full steps. This piece displays satiny luster with hint of light champagne toning. Moderate dye erosion is apparent on each side, causing metal flow lining in the margins, but the steps of Monticello are sharply defined. It ended up selling for $16,800 at heritage auctions. And this is 1936 Lincoln Cent with double dye of verse, graded in mean state 66 red by PCGS. Enchanting rose red surfaces are sharply struck, fully lustrous, and possessed of outstanding eye appeal. Although not as challenging to locate in the finest mean state grades as its Type 1 counterpart, the 1936 FS 102 Double Diverse Sand is rare in its own right with quality shown here. It ended up selling for $2,585 at Stax Powers auction. Here is 1960 Franklin Half Dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines designation. A registry collector's dream coin, the superb gem full bell lines, 1960 Franklin half dollar is one of two finest at PCGS. The coin is nearly flawless when viewed beneath a loop, and radiant frosty luster rolls effortlessly over each side. Most of the interiors display ice blue toning, while the borders have deeper forest green, crimson gold, and russet coloration. Eye appeal is as superb as a preservation. It was sold for $28,200 at heritage auction. This is 1958 Washington Quarter in PR69 deep cameo condition. Hints of light gold toning enhance the aesthetic desirability of this nearly flawless superb gem proof. It is nearly perfect example that has deeply mirrored field and frosty highly lustrous surfaces. A conditionally rare coin, it was sold for $8,518.75 at heritage auctions. And this is 1950s Lincoln Cent in MS68 red condition, a beautifully preserved example. The sole finest 1950s Lincoln Cent certified by PCGS. Pristine surfaces yield pumpkin orange luster and rich satiny texture. The coin is entirely devoid of spots with sharp design elements and incredible eye appeal. An essential acquisition for the registry collector sold for $10,800 at heritage auctions. Thanks for watching guys, keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to hit the like button. Have a nice day.